Here's Haley Smith on her senior day moving right. Wow. And there's the first goal of the day. Great shot. You know, she did a little sidearm, three-quarter shot to the top left corner of the goal. That was awesome. Haley Smith, the senior, gets her 27th of the season. And the men and women just over five minutes into the contest score. Mike, let's take another look. Yeah, she just made a great move there. She's really fast. You know, she had a really quick first step, got around her defender, uh, freed her hands, and stuck the goal in the top corner. What a fake Lions. Lions right in close for the goal. And she did it with a great individual effort. There it is, two seniors, first two goals on senior day. UMass goal is scored by that's her 27th goal of this her senior season. Take another look. She made a great one-on-one -on -one dodge here, protected her stick well, and just finished the ball. Goalie kind of came out of the cage there. So I don't think she knew where, she was, uh, where that ball was going. Well, it looked like, Mike, some really good patience by Lions. Haven't gotten a shot off on the first two. Garino does, and it trickles in. Wow. Looked like Roebuck got a piece of it. But not enough. Yeah, the keeper made a nice move down there. She, you know, she saw the ball going low. She got her stick down there. It looks like it hit off the stick, trickled in the cage. But hey, goal's a goal, right, Josh? Let's see how close it was for Roebuck to save this. I think she only kind of nicked it with her stick. Yeah, she nicked it. Still, great shot. Overhand, high to low. Can't ask for much more. One by this lady, Lions. Tanner Corino has the other. Lions! Same move. She made the same move as last time. This time was going to step in the crease. She made one fake and finished the ball. Well, it's been the seniors' day so far on senior day. That one fake and finish. Got the goalie going one way and put the ball right over her shoulder. She's going to have to pressure the ball a little bit, you know, and uh, make you miss. Well, they can't stop Danielle Pelletier there. She gets a goal to make it 7-0. Yeah, the draw, draw controls have been huge here for UMass, and they're going to go back to the circle here again. Let's take a look at Danielle's first goal of the day. Once again, it's a dodge right to her left hand. She went from right to left. Murray, great pass Sarko or Keith Fleece with a goal. Wow, it was just yeah. beautiful. And 10 to 1, UMass. That's a great transition play right there. It's a great transition goal. And uh, when, you, when you can get those kind of easy goals like that in transition, uh, you know, that's how you know things are really clicking for the UMass team right now. Watch the pass by Corey Murray. Yeah, hey, DeFelice just backdoored her defender. Uh, you know, got in front of her. And that's a great look by Corey Murray right there to feed her on the back side there. You know, both teams have equal opportunity to get to that ground ball. UMass seems to be coming up with it. Defender Riley Perry comes in, and Riley Perry gets a goal. Everything going right for UMass. They have a 10-goal lead, and we haven't yet reached halftime. Riley Perry gets into the act. UMass ball is scored by number 14. Yeah, Riley just ran past a couple defenders there and made a great bounce shot to the back of the cage. And it was 11 to 1 minute women at halftime, and they cruise from there. They'll win it by 10, 14 to 4. It's a final. And UMass has clinched the regular season Atlantic 10 championship.